a class one rapid up there. All right, guys, this is Sailor on the forums, and I'm going to show you guys um, the TACCOM carriers for radio gear. Um, it's a way to move your radios around and keep them protected without having a customized uh, build-it-yourself box. Um, ham radio is not a hobby for me. I use it as a tool. I don't have the time or the skills to build a radio go box. Um, it's customized. I wish I did. They look great, but that's just uh, not my style and uh, not my way of doing things. So I bought the TACCOM carriers and um, we're out here doing some rucking and uh, a little squirrel hunting and I brought uh, an FT-857 and uh, put that in a TACCOM carrier. I have uh, another one, another carrier for an 18 hour amp hour battery and another one for a power supply. I only bought the radio and a small battery today. I'm going to uh, pull it out here and uh, give it a show for you. This is a radio in the carrier, as you can see. It comes with a nice handle and um, protects the front VFO. It's got a flip down leg here. Each one of the carriers nests on top of each other. You take the strut cover off. See these little feet right here? They fit onto these holes on the top so you can put another one on top of it without it sliding around. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and uh, hook this up to my antenna and uh, see if we can get uh, connection to my simplex repeater at home. The, the front cover hooks onto the top here, slides back, and you can use it as a rack to hold your HTs. I've already strung up a line with my tree climbing gear up into this tree. I'll go ahead and pull an antenna up and see what kind of performance we can get out of this. Um, so I'll turn the video off here and then once I get it up and running I'll get it back on for you. Alright, before I go and pull that up, this is the uh, roll up J-pole dual band antenna that I'm going to be using. Small 8 amp hour battery They're using like in a security system. Everything's got Anderson power poles on it for a quick detach. And uh, this antenna I'm going to use is the uh, PAR NFEDS QRP antenna for um, 40, 20, and 10. Once you tune it and cut it for 40 meters, it doesn't need a tuner for uh, any of the other bands. However, I do have a tuner you can see underneath here. I do have a Z100 auto tuner uh, on top of my uh, FT-857 on the radio. Alright guys, I got the antenna up about maybe 25 feet and we are on a bluff above the Wabash River approximately oh I don't know 40 or 50 feet above the river. We're kind of in a low spot. Um, on the road in here I was able to hit my simplex repeater at my house. I've got the um, Argent Data Systems simplex repeater hooked up to a HT and then going to an amplifier. And on the way down here and on the road in, I could hit that from my car. We're not high enough right here, even with this antenna in the tree, to reach it. I'll uh, do a test right here, which I just did a few minutes ago and I've already ID'd myself on it. Simplex repeater test, range test, simplex repeater test zero. So uh, from this location, approximately 22 miles away is where we're at. Um, no go. Uh, from my car when I get back on the road a little higher, um, I'll show you a positive uh, connection to that. Next I'm going to hook up uh, an HF antenna and then we'll see if we can do some PSK 31 through my Android phone. 
and um, this is the Bayo thing, you know, if you've taken my uh, emergency uh, communications class, uh, I'm a big fan of these for getting radios in the hands of anyone. I've tested my Yaesu a ton, my FT-170, haven't used this in the radio, this radio in the field as much, so I've got this out with uh, one of the MF. J1717 uh, antennas. If you're going to get a larger antenna for this, get the ones that are flexible so they don't break off on you. All right, once I get the HF antenna up and running, uh, I'll uh, get the video back on. All right, guys, uh, I have the Par and Feds 4020 10 meter antenna, trail antenna, QRP antenna strung up and um, running out of my TACCOM carrier here. I've got uh, Droid PSK running on my phone here hooked up to um, this Wolfie adapter that comes out of my, end. my headphone jack goes into this little matching box here and then goes into the data port in the back of the FT-857. It's not required. I could use volume and just um, key my radio, but with this I can set up all my presets and I don't have to use my microphone. So um, really handy. Don't need a computer to communicate on HF on the data modes. Uh, we talked about this in my uh, survival communications class, but uh, I just showed you the equipment. I did not uh, demonstrate for you guys this. So this is in action, working in the field. Um, I'm not gonna try to text and uh, transmit at this point. But you can see lots of activity on 20 meters right now. All right, guys, I'm in my car on an overpass uh, just above the Wabash River. We're probably a good 40 feet higher than we, where we were before. And uh, my mobile radio should be able to make contact to my simplex repeater approximately 21 miles away would be my guess from this location. I'll check it when I get home. Um, but uh, let's see uh, how clear it is and if it's legible. Simplex uh, repeater test. Simplex repeater test. Simplex uh, repeater test. Simplex repeater test. All right, so that was legible. We made contact uh, to the simplex repeater located at my house, uh, running um, through a Baofeng and the ADS Argent Data System simplex repeater. And then running into um, my amplifier that I have set up at home. Uh, the antenna at home, I think, is a Diamond X50 on my roof, about maybe 25 feet. Um, the antenna is about 6 feet above my roof line. Um, when I get home, I'll videotape uh, using the, the repeater so you can see how it's set up at home. Um, but uh, we were just in a hole down at the river bottom, even though we were above the river on a bluff. And... Uh, even though I had the uh, antenna in a tree, maybe 25 feet up, but just we just didn't have the height um, to get through the uh, the earth that was between me and the uh, antenna on my uh, home. So I'll uh, continue videoing when I get uh, home later. All right, guys, I'm back in my uh, man cave here, and I've got the radio back set up uh, where it belongs normally and it's TACCOM carrier in the man cave and um, right here is the Argent Data Systems SR1 simplex repeater 
and I've got that connected to that Baofeng there on the right hand side and then that is then down connected to this RF Concepts amplifier which goes to a Diamond X50 on my rooftop. My other two TACCOM carriers down here are uh, power supply modules. I've got one for that battery that I did not bring tonight. Too big and heavy for uh, just a field test of getting outside. And then I've got a uh, portable SEC 1223 power supply down there that I use for uh, the FT-857. And then I have another Astron uh, power supply over here I use for the, that amplifier. So yeah, that's about it. Um, so in the man cave here, this is what I've got. Also, of course, swing the chair this way. Homebrew kegerator. Kegerator, no man cave. Should be without one. Then, of course, a computer. My trading computer. Doing very good on Euro NZD at the moment. Reloading supply. Mess storage so yeah let me get a test going right here simplex repeater test you can see the uh, Baofeng activate once I do a test on this other Baofeng Simplex repeater test one. Simplex repeater test one. You can also leave voicemails with this or announcements. I can set up an announcement to automatically uh, send out every at the interval I choose. Like say once an hour, I can have an announcement send out once every ten minutes. I can have it I identify automatically by CW my call sign. Um, which, when I have it turned on, I, I do that. Um, you can turn on and off and control everything about the Simplex repeater using DTMF tones. Hang on, I'm going to set this down real quick, and I need two hands to do the DTMF tones code. So I did the DTMF code to um, play the announcement, and that was announcement number one that I have recorded. I can change that at any time. It's totally controllable um, by DTMF tones, which is uh, fantastic. So I'll put a link to all of this equipment in the, uh, in the post. If you have any questions on it, just uh, give me a ring.